Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to discuss something really exciting. So for those who have a very low end device or for those who have, who basically face problems running Android Studio on their devices, worry not because Google has announced Android Studio Cloud which basically means that now you can access Android Studio from your browser without having a high end device. So I'm I'm not going to waste and we'll just straight away jump into testing that specific feature by Google. So if you go to studio.firebase.google.com slash new slash Android Studio. So this is the link that basically uh, you need to access it. It's definitely uh, right now uh, in preview mode, but it definitely uh, becomes stable over the time. But yeah, let's just get, get started. So, so the first thing that you need to do, you can create your workspace like I did. So let's just create that. And now it will be setting up the workspace, initialize the environment, build environment and stuff like that. So we'll just wait for a while to see how efficient it is and uh, how easy it is to use. Okay, so you can see that it has basically initialized the Google uh, Android Studio. And now oh, from over here, it's just exact same Android Studio that we can use. So, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ch check out my Musify app and see if we can build and run it on the new Android Studio Cloud. Okay, so for that, what I need to do is that I need to go to my GitHub. And from there, I'll go to my profile. Or you can just go to the repositories. And we'll go over here to this Android Musify. Android, copy that path from there. And now over here, let's clone that repository. I'll just paste that. Come on. Okay, so basically what we need to do is that we need to set this uh, from over here. We need to pass this. And now when we go over here and paste that, Okay, sorry. So basically, I have uh, one thing to make sure is that it's basically a window system. So I was using a wrong button. Uh, I was using command V instead it is control V. So that's the difference. And that's why I was not able to paste it. But yeah, you need to basically uh, update your clipboard according to that. And now what we are going to do is that we'll basically clone that. Now it will, you can see that it's basically uh, Android Studio Meerkat that's there and along with that it just loaded all the project file it's basically building the project file for me so we'll just wait for that why is it keep on asking me to log out all it is doing is basically downloading all those files and it's been running for more than two minutes Although I don't have that much of um, SDKs added to this project yet because this is a very fresh and it just have like a couple of uh, stuff. But yeah, it took almost two minutes to sync, which is okay uh, to be honest because uh, depend it totally depends on how the internet speed is. Uh, so I'll say it's it's fine. Now let's just wait how much time it takes to actually run the app for the first time. Okay, so almost everything uh, is set up. It took a couple of minutes. Uh, I think it's still fine depending on if you are running on a low end device. It can take some time but the actual test is this one. Uh, to see how long does it take to run the actual code, uh, the actu actual project, which doesn't have that much of uh, stuff implemented yet. So let's see. Okay, so the, the build time was pretty quick. So it just took one minute, which is a really good, I would say, uh, given that it's a Android, sorry, it's a Windows system. So yeah, and now we are waiting for the emulator to run. Uh, the first time emulator always takes some time so because it, it has to build so much thing and then set up all those configurations. So it's fine. Okay. 
okay so the emulator is taking a little bit more time than the normal but Okay, so the emulator for the first time is taking more time than I was would expect. Uh, the build time was quite quick. The downloading dependencies time was okayish, I would say, because like if you have a pretty decent internet connection, it should not take that much time. But like, uh, it's still I would say I would rate that as okay. Uh, but the emulator is basically a huge turn off for me right now because it's taking more time than I would expect or what I have seen uh, while building on my local machine although I have also a, like a quite old device basically I have a Mac uh, MacBook Pro M1 so it's quite outdated as you can you know that it's like M4 is in the market and the first thing that I see is this emulator having this system UI problem it always happens which basically slows down and slows down the emulator and all these uh, things that related to that also I have not seen the emulator properly running yet so I'm not sure if it's an Android studio issue or it's because of the system resources that we are we are basically utilizing right now so okay the launcher is also crashing so we'll hope What other devices do we have? Okay, so we don't have any other device. We have just Pixel 8 devices. Yeah. Let's just wait how it works, how it turns out. Okay, so the app is successfully installed, but the emulator has not been able to, uh, to run properly. Don't understand what's going on. I think there is some problem with the emulator. So... Maybe we should use or try a slightly lower device. So let's just try adding a new device. Create a new virtual device. Okay. Okay, so the, basically the system is super slow right now. So the device, uh, the system that basically assigned to me, super slow. So that's an, again a problem. I'm going to use Pixel 4 so that I can maybe have a uh, lower end uh, SDK that I can use. I'm not going to use Baklava. Instead, I'm going to use Android R. Let's use Android 11. That will basically give us, I hope, basically, this will. Okay, what just happened? Okay, so it says that you have to download these. Okay, so this has finished. So I'm not sure if we can use, you have to use single or both, but we still don't see that. So I think we can finish it off. So let's just finish. Now, this emulator is already running. We haven't seen that yet. So I'm just gonna kill that emulator. Power off. How do I power? Well, I think that should be the one. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Okay, now let's just run the Android 4, Pixel 4. Okay, so as per my expectation, it ran a little faster than the one we ran previously. So I would say it's a good sign. But we are still facing the same black screen issue with this emulator. Okay, no. Oh, looks like. This works. So now let's just try to build this app. Try to run it on the emulator. Device is offline. Come on. Device is online. Why would you say that? Oh, come on. Okay, so there's another problem that we have faced. Let me just try with this. How do we do that? I don't know. 
something is wrong with this emulator setup let me try with the api 35 let's see yeah like with api 35 it's working but that emulator is super slow and when we try to run it with the api webvix pixel 4 it seems to have some problem so yeah again i'm not i don't know okay now at least this worked this ran and we'll see if the app would, would launch okay we we got our splash screen took more time than usual and i can understand sometime it happens when the emulator is running slow and in this case it's definitely running slow so that's why we are seeing that we should see a loader which i'm not yet seeing it could be what could be the reason for that i'm not sure but i don't see uh, enough thing let me just try something else from the code side and see if the changes that we do are basically working uh, as we want so if you go to the ui part I think this was the one we did. We, we did features and then we used the login screen over there. Sorry, not login, should be login screen. And now over here, you can see that we don't have much over here. Instead, what I'm going to do that along with the login, I'm going to create. Sorry, yeah, I'm going to create a text that's going to be hi this is testing android cloud okay now you can see we got this so yeah it's now loaded and uh, let's just try again with the pixel emulator which is running device that we have and see if we can allow like if since we are not able to see the loader Oh yeah, I think I know why we are not able to see the loader and that's because the state that we set is this one in the view model. So if we go to the view model, I can, you can see that I've set it to load, no loader. So I think if we can set it to loading, it should, it should work. This was my mistake. This was my bad. Uh, I'll take that, uh, on my end. So yeah let's just try once again now you can see that it's running pretty good it's pretty now you can see we can see the text as well and we also see the loader so, so i think for the first time it did took some time but uh after that uh it looks like it it can run pretty fast for some reason my emulator that i created had some issue have some issue so i i would not be able to do that but yeah uh, this is how it is now let's see if i can access my device with this i'm not sure so let me just try that i have connected my device i would love to see or set up some ways where i can connect my device but i think for right now that seems to be not possible or something because i don't see that anywhere over here which is a huge turn off for me because like there are sometimes i have to test some features that are only available on a real devices like the like the actual ar stuff but uh, but nevertheless i think it's still a pretty cool feature by google and android because uh, those who struggle with, with like uh, slow systems, they, this is something that you can run and it won't require a lot of your memories on that. Now the question is, is would I use this instead of my own system? I would say no, because it feels like it's still very early on. Uh, it will definitely improve with the time. And I think with later on with some paid features and all that, uh, we might be able to upgrade the resources like the RAM and the processor. So that by doing that, it, it will help a lot. Uh, but for now, it feels like my M1 is performing much better than the one that I have uh, on this cloud. 
but still like it's it's my case uh, for those who have like a low end low end uh, windows species that basically uh, who are not able to run an emulator along with the code i think for those this is this is something that can be very useful because uh, now you don't have to worry about like those kind of thing you will you'll be able to run a emulator along with um, with your code so so yeah uh, i would say try it out and let me know in the comment what do you think about this and if you like the video you know what to do like the video comment down below and also share the video with your friends to let them know about this cool feature and i'll see you in the next video of our musify app series so till then happy coding bye thank you so much for watching the video if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't forget any update if you got any question you can join my discord server the link is in the description also for quick updates and tips you can follow me on instagram until next time keep learning keep developing bye